السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو گون تھرو دا ٹیکسٹ آف مرچنٹ آف ونس اینڈ دیر آر نو ایشوز وتھ دیٹ یو ہیو کوئٹ انڈرسٹوڈ اٹ یو انڈرسٹوڈ اٹ ناؤ ان دس لیکچر وی شیل بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ وی شیل بی ڈسکسنگ دا سکسٹ پوئم آف یور انگلش بک English textbook, which is My Mother at 66. Uh, as you can see, I've written here uh, the title of the poem, My Mother at 66. This poem uh, is written by Kamla Das. Uh, Kamla Das uh, is an Indian writer who wrote in English and Malayalam. Uh, Malayalam was her native language. Uh, you can see that I've written Kamla Soraya Das. There is a reason why. Kamla Das why uh, Kamla Das basically is her uh, first name when she was Hindu uh, Madhavi Kuti is her Malayalam pen name and Kamla Soraya is her Muslim name as she embraced Islam in uh, 199 at the age of uh, when she was 65 she was uh, 65 that she embraced Islam and then she came to be known as Kamla Soraya Das Okay, so Kamla Das is her name, uh, Kamla Das first name as Hindu, Madhvi Kuti is her Malayalam pen name and Kamla Soraya Das is her Muslim name as she embraced Islam in 199 at the age of 65. She was uh, born on 31st of, uh, 31st of March 1934, she was born in Thissur, Malabar coast which is uh, in Kerala and uh, she died uh, on May 31st, 2009. Kamla Das uh you know her, uh, in Kerala in in Kerala uh, her popularity grew uh in Kerala her popularity is based uh, chiefly based on uh chiefly based on uh, uh short stories and autobiography she belonged to a conservative hindu family uh having royal ancestry Okay so she belonged to conservative hindu family having royal ancestry she is an indian writer who wrote in english as well as in malayalam in english she is written mostly the poetry and in malayalam which is a natural native language she wrote short stories and autobiographies it is uh, said that she she, she kamla das belongs to the modern indian english poets she she is the modern poet of uh, indian literature she belongs to modern indian english poets in 2009 the times called her the mother of modern indian english poetry it was in 2009 that the times called her uh, published a line and called her the mother of modern english indian poetry uh, she has <coughs> she is the one who brought to indian poetry the concept of confessional poetry uh she's the one who brought to uh, the indian poetry the concept of confessional poetry about confessional poetry we shall be discussing about uh, confessional poetry in the later part of this uh, lecture it was basically her family which had a very much influence on her literary career her mother was a writer and we can say her first role model and later it was her uncle and then later her husband so her uncle was also a poet and the later has husband you know had a great influence on her literary career so this is about uh, uh, my mother at 66 written by kamla das kamla soraya madhvikuti kamla hindu name soraya when she embraced islam and madhvikuti is a malayalam pen name uh, malayalam pen name uh she uh in she was born on 31st of march 1934 thissur malabar uh, kerala malabar coast kerala and uh, in kerala she her uh, popularity is chiefly because of uh, uh, short stories and autobiographies that she wrote in malayalam language under the name madhvi koti uh, she died on may 31st 2009 Indian writer she is an Indian writer she was an Indian writer who wrote in English and Malayalam her poetry uh, she has written her poetry in English and uh, Malayalam which is a native language she has written short stories and autobiographies she belongs to the modern indian english poets uh, in 2000 the times called her the mother of modern english indian poetry she is uh, she brought uh, to indian uh, poetry the concept of confessional poetry actually confessional poetry emerged in usa in 19 around 1950s so 
in later part of this lecture we shall be discussing about confessional poetry it was a family which had a great influence on her literary career it was a mother which, who was a writer her first role model however it was an uncle and then later her husband her poetry uh, is uh, you know is said to be uh, re represents or we can say reflects the realistic and humanistic view of the life of women in in society so she is uh, said to be you know uh, her poetry reflects that she is frank she is truthful in her writings and she presents uh, all the social sexual religious and household issues in her poetry and she's written against male centered society that looks down uh, women i would say that she is of the view that men are uh, deliberate tacticians who tame a bird turn her into a granite dove and then uh, make her forget uh, her nature okay that is her urge to fly so this is what she is of the opinion that uh, you know men they are deliberate tacticians uh, we can uh, justify this statement that she uh, writes against male center society that looks down a uh, uh, woman uh, she writes she is of the opinion that men are men are deliberate tacticians who tame a bird turn her into a granite dove and make the bird forget her nature that is her urge to fly so the contents uh, of her poetry she uh, that is uh, the contents of her poetry are concept of divinity concept of love concept her cry of peace uh, concept of womanhood uh, sexual desires of a woman etc etc so some of the works that uh, uh, that uh, she has written a lot uh, a lot so some of the works um, Uh, uh she's written a novel alphabet of lust her poems include uh, introduction uh, summer in Cal calcutta uh, the looking glass words etc and her autobiography my story uh, she's written her autobiography which is uh, titled as my story it was published uh, when she was 20 when she was uh, sorry when she was 42 so this is uh, about her works we can say that her poetry reflects realistic and humanistic uh, view of of a woman in society uh, uh she uh, uh she is frank and truthful in her writings she presents all the social sexual uh, religious and uh, household issues she has written against male centered society uh, that looks down which looks down uh, women and that's why she she said that men are you know these men they are deliberate they are deliberate tacticians they are deliberate tacticians they tame woman they tame woman turn her into a granite dove and make her forget her nature that is her urge to fly so this is what she has written the content contents of her poetry we can say she's written about the concept of divinity she's written about the woman a womanhood she's written about concept of love her cry of peace she's written about the sexual desires of indian women her works uh, she has written a lot of works uh, her works include uh, a novel alphabet of lust um, the poems and introduction summer in calcutta the looking glass words etc and her autobiography which was published when she was 40 uh, 42 uh, uh, which is titled as my story okay so uh, so this is about uh, her works and talking about why she embraced islam it was basically uh, under the influence of uh, sadik ali sadik ali was an mp and a muslim scholar and also her lover she embraced islam because of the influence of her lover sadik ali who was an mp and also a muslim scholar okay now we shall be discussing uh, the confessional poetry what is confessional poetry i've written here confessional poetry is a genre that focuses on person that is himself or herself it's a genre in poetry in which the poet focuses on himself or herself 
we can in simple words we can say the confessional poetry is about i the personal pronoun i that is about the speaker the poet in this in in confessional poetry describes himself or herself uh, describes his or her good and bad experiences talks uh, dis discusses his uh, psyche the trauma that he or she has suffered and undergone or we can say that uh, lives uh, the world or sees the world and the people around or the topics that uh, are included in confessional poetry are uh, you know the poets uh, right childhood experiences they talk about the illness they talk about the desire for su suicide the this uh, uh, concept of confessional poetry emerged in us in 1950s and in india it was kamla das who said to be the pioneer of confessional poetry okay so some of the examples of her confessional poems are the old playhouse the looking glass these describe her uh, painful experiences as a woman and as a suppressed wife i would repeat it confessional poetry is a genre that focuses on the poet uh, in which the poet focuses on himself or herself in simple words it's about i it's about the speaker the poet describes uh, himself or herself uh, describes his good or, or bad experiences his psyche the trauma that the poet has suffered and undergone uh, lives or sees the world and the people around uh, the topics that are included we can say confess childhood experiences illness uh, desire for suicide uh, it, this confessional poetry concept of confessional poetry emerged in us in 1950s in india uh, it was kamla das who uh, brought it to the scene of indian poetry who said to be the pioneer of confessional poetry for example he has written the poem the old playhouse or the looking glass in these poems the poet this uh, kamla das describes her painful experiences as a woman and as a suppressed wife hope this is uh, this is the first lecture of uh, this poem hope this will be helpful in the next lecture we shall be discussing about the poetic devices of this poem that literary techniques allah hafiz